Welcome to this video on how on how the new MaxCut Alpha works. This video is going to show you how to start up and also some of the new features that MaxCut Alpha has. Um, this is the latest one. We bought out a, a beta one before, but this is the, the latest one that, that came out. So the first thing that you would do is you would open up MaxCut Alpha uh, from your from your desktop. Double click on the on the icon and it will come up with this this page the max cut registration page and it tells you that this is your serial number and also so what you would do is you would highlight it and it also tells you that uh, to get your registration key you need to click on this this button here and then put it in under your registration key so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little link and it's going to take me to the website where I can I can put in in these details so I right click here paste it and over here I can put in my email address and I click on email my key and from there it's going to send me a a registration number a new one that's that I'm going to get and from there we can add it into the uh, this registration key place that, that's here Okay, this is what the the email will look like. It will say your your MaxCut registration key uh, for serial number. This is is this. So what you would do is you would highlight this, right click on it, go copy, and you'll notice that I haven't closed this down. You mustn't close this down. As uh, you must wait for the email to come in and then and then enter this in. So you right click here, paste in that that key, and say register. And that's how how easy it is to to register the the new MaxCut. Now what what you would do here is this is the the new interface that's that we've brought up. Um, what you can do is you can have a job reference, client client name, address, email address, the fax number, telephone number. You can fill out all those details. You can have a sheet material. So let's say what uh, melamine, and you can have sheet length. Let's make it two seven three zero, or let's make it. 2710 or any size you like by 1830 and you can have a, a grain you can have a set grain or you can have no grain and that would, would place it place the boards all over price per sheet you can put that in if you if you wanted to you can have what kind of um, edging you like so let's go black PVC uh, Point zero four zero point that, and you can have a second type of material if you want edging edging B. So let's go uh, mahogany mahogany on the uh, top B, and you can also put in whatever size you like there. And also, you can put in prices, and you can say include edging thickness into the piece size. So you can you can put that in. So that will basically it will take off 0.4 millimeters on your on your piece of piece of board. If you put in the put in the size of 560, it will take off 0.4 for your for your board for that edging. Okay, now now that we've set up our our board, now we go to click on the tab at the top that says Import Pieces. And here you can, if you've taken it from, from Quotemaster or, or Factory Manager, you can import the CSV file. But for now, I'm just going to add in my, my own pieces. And I'm going to say uh, length 560 by 720. I'm going to make 10 of those pieces. Edge, I'm going to say either 1 or 2. And let's make it 2. Uh, I'm going to make that black PVC. Your width, make it two, so it's going to be edged all around, and make it black as well. If you want grooves and holes, you can put those in. But for now, I'm just going to press save, and there is my my piece that I've I've got there. I'm going to add in another another piece. Let's put in 420 by 500. Make five pieces of those. Make only one of the one side edged, and press save. Let's carry on. I'm going to press add another piece. Let's make it two meters 
by 560 width. I don't want, let's make this no edging anywhere. And you can press save. You'll notice there it's got it's got your edging one or two or zero if there's nothing there. Uh, let me continue to to add another more pieces. Let's go. I'm going to go 100 by 16. Let's make. I don't need edging for that one as well, but let's make seven pieces of those, and you can press save. Can, if you continue to add in, you you'll continue to to get pieces. Um, make it 200, make this 10, and edge it all the way around. With mahogany, and press save. Okay, now once you once you've done your um, once you've got your your pieces in, you can click on optimize and it would, would work out your, your optimization for you. So here's the, um, the optimized pieces. Let's go next. You'll see that you've got your, your edging. Now C means that there isn't any edging. That's the, the third one that's, that's there. Uh, if you go back, all these here aren't edged at all. There's no edging on them. B would be your, your mahogany. So that's, you'll notice it's got edging on on just those those pieces there and you if you go next a would be edging all around and we can see that we've got a, a few pieces of those so let's let's just make sure that we that's that's correct yep there's your your a and b's and that's that is correct so if you go your your optimize sheet you'll notice this is putting it in without any grain direction and it gives you your optimize. On the right hand side it tells you how many total number of sheets, um, total pieces, your your wastage for this for this job. Um, and let's continue. You can go to your summary at the top and it will give you your, your summary of, of the pieces that you that you've put in and and you can get get all that information there. Now the, the second thing that you can do or a couple of things that you can do is you can set up your your pieces, so your maximum piece piece size you can put in there, your minimum piece your minimum uh, sheet size you can put in, uh, your blade thickness you can put in, plus your your price for your for your blade, your label settings, drawing settings you can have what kind of thicknesses dotted uh, dashed lines if if you wanted to. Start job details, you can put in job references, client name, you can put all that. You can put in your sheet materials. So here you can put in sheet length, you can put in 2710 by 1830. And so that would be your, your, your default startup. Your edging, you can also put that in. You can put in pricing and, and you can continue on. You can put the two different ones and optimize settings and there it is there so that's how how easy it is to to set up your your max cut and how to to run it up thank you very much for listening to this this brief demo on how to use max cut